Good morning, everyone. This is Daniele Capezzone, a view from Italy, the Watcher Post from the Utopia Studios in Rome. Um, how many times watching a talk show, a TV show, have you heard the host, when introducing a scientist, a virology, uh, saying, um, let's listen to the voice of the science. Here is Professor, what's his name? Well, this is the worst possible way of introducing uh, scientists for two main reasons. The first one is that this kind of introduction uh, boosts and I will say unleashes the ego, the ego of the scientist. And the second reason is that it gives the audience the idea of science as something monolithic, as if it were a sort of a new kind of Moses coming down the Sinai holding the tables of the law. But there is a little problem that at the very same time on another TV channel there is another Moses coming from another Sinai with different tables of the law, which is a bit bizarre and disconcerting. Uh, the real problem is what are we talking about? What do we mean by science? And about this problem, the best questions, from my perspective, as far as I'm concerned, have been made by a British science writer, a commentator, a journalist, a classical liberal, a free marketeer. His name is Matt Ridley, who has uh, made this kind of question. Are we talking about science as a philosophy, as we wish? Or are we talking about science as an institution or even as a sort of religion as we fear, as we wish not? In the first case, we are talking about a field which is, by definition, open-minded, based on demonstration and induction and not on deduction, and based on a uh, free and strong competition between different and competing theories and ideas. In the second case, we are talking about a matter of faith. We are talking about religion with the, uh, its uh, dogmas, which is uh, the opposite of what we need now. This should be a great problem, not only uh, in terms of liberties uh, for our society, but also in terms of the cultural condition of our society. We should bet on liberty and responsibility of our citizens, of our people, by providing them with uh, 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 the greatest possible information and letting them make uh, uh, their decision in a willful and knowing and aware way. Uh, we shouldn't bet on fear and punishment. Mm, uh, these are kind of gifts with, which don't offer anything good to our society. These are uh, uh, some questions and some parting gifts and some uh, legacy I'd like to leave after this first season of uh, View from Italy. This is the last a View from, a View from Italy uh, since February. Now we are going to take a short uh, summer break and we will see uh, once again here from the Utopia Studios uh, early September, perhaps the on the 3rd of September. Ma adesso, per chi ci segue in lingua italiana, una piccola pausa, soltanto alcuni minuti, e poi saremo nuovamente in diretta per un evento, in questo caso sempre ospitato dagli studios di Utopia, che ringrazio in modo speciale, un evento organizzato da Mercatus, il think tank che spinge, come sapete, per un alleggerimento della pressione fiscale e della pressione regolatoria e per l'allargamento degli spazi di concorrenza, oggi parleremo proprio di professioni e concorrenza, di professioni e mercato, di professioni e competizione, lo faremo con un autorevole membro del governo, il vice ministro dello sviluppo economico Gilberto Pichetto, senatore di Forza Italia, e con due rappresentanti del mondo produttivo, Alessandro Fracassi, Mutui Online, e Lelio Borghese, Asso Contact. Allora, qualche minuto e ci rivediamo. Grazie. <musica> 